Joining us on the show today is the CEO of the National Health Practitioners of Canada, Kelly Sloan, who will be our uh, person being utilized here to get comfortable. And we've got Mr. Paul. He's one of the members of that group. And we're talking about Thai massage today. Let's talk about what is Thai massage. Um, thai massage is an ancient uh, tradition from Thailand, um, influenced by uh, yoga and Ayurvedic medicine from India and uh, Chinese system of uh, medicine and meridians. So it's, it differs uh, from regular massage in that it's uh, very active. We do a lot of um, stretching, yoga poses, as well as work on the energy lines of mm -hmm. the body in order to um, increase mobility um, and, um, and open up um, the body to bring more balance. Um, one, of the, one of the main things around Thai massage is it's great preventative medicine um, for preventative health. Uh, what you're doing is you're assessing the body for immobility, areas of tension. And Kelly here has uh, been skiing. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. So let me guess where she's sore. <laughs> Low back. Right. Yes. <laughs> um, so um, some of the treatments we're going to do today are around uh, opening up the hip joint, what we're doing now by using the pressure on the energy lines of the leg and, um, and opening up the spine. So um, one of the things with uh, Thai massage is you want to be in good communication with your client. Kelly's got some tension, and we want to make sure that we don't stretch too far. There's lots of really interesting poses in Thai massage, um, but we do it uh, to the capacity of the person on the mat. So it really is an interactive between you and your client to make sure that you're, you're getting or giving her what she needs. Absolutely, absolutely it is. And so who else? So we're talking about the low back here with Kelly, and she does have discomfort there, but is it really any area of the body that can be treated? Absolutely. Well, generally, Thai massage is used for an overall body treatment. Mm -hmm. um, our health and wellness often depends on independent uh, parts of the body working together, so creating homeostasis and autoregulation. So our body is able to um, adjust itself both internally um, due to things going on inside our body as well as externally uh, to our external environment. And uh, working in order to open up areas that are restricted that would stop that process or hinder that process um, is uh, one of the main goals of Thai massage, to open the body up to freer movement and so that each part of the body works together. Now, Kelly is quite nimble, and, and you can see there's a lot of movement. <laughs> You're doing a lot of nimble here, but are you, are you restricted at all uh, by people's lack or excess amount of flexibility in their bodies? Um, yeah, actually, you, you want to um, tailor the treatment to the person because if someone is hyperflexible, you don't want to overstretch them. Mm -hmm. And if they uh, are very tight, you don't want to go too far in a stretch. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're definitely tailoring it to the person. You don't have to be super flexible in order to get a Thai massage. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, I get that question a lot from clients. Um, and Kelly, I'm just going to get your arms out by your sides. I'm just going to step through. Um, that do I have to be flexible? Do I have to do something before I come to the treatment? How's that feel, Kelly? Good. Good. Would it aid with flexibility? Because I, I mean, I think a lot of people feel that that is an important part of, of, of health, is having some flexibility. Absolutely. There's a lot of benefits uh, to Thai massage. Flexibility, mobility, um, in reducing stress. And you can use it um, as a preventative, but also in chronic conditions, shoulders, low back pain, uh, sciatica. And in, in this way, I'm just holding on to, to Kelly and letting her hips swing back and forth. She's really letting them go this time, which is great. Um, and it just creates a nice lengthening of the low back. Uh, now, what about as far as uh, preparation? I mean, you say you don't have to come in and not be flexibility, but, or flexible, but she's just wearing some casual clothing, and it's a, it's a casual uh, interaction between you and the client? Yes. Uh, you just, um, the client would come wearing anything that is uh, loose, comfortable, fitting, mm -hmm. Things that you would wear to a yoga class okay. or uh, to the gym. Uh, because we do so much um, work, as you can see, I'm using my shins, my feet, right. uh, and we're moving her in all sorts of positions, face up, face down, sideline. And the treatments can last anywhere from an hour to three and a half hours. Oh, wow. That is <laughs> quite a commitment. Now, we've got about a minute left. And I know there's, there's a, a pose you want to show us here that really kind of help out uh, Kelly at this time. Yeah, um, we've done all this uh, forward bending. And one of the things that we want to do now is we want to give her a little bit of a back bend uh, to lengthen the spine out okay. that way. 
Um, and this also is a great way of showing uh, how you vary the technique depending on the client. Okay. So I'm just gonna get Kelly to turn face down, give her this face rest. There you go. So um, we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the basic cobra pose where the pressure from my knees help to uh, ground her um, hips so that they don't move and that she can lengthen as she breathes in. I'm gonna lean back, she's gonna look forward and we just gently, I gently lean back and she just looks forward. Her spine is lengthening out of the hips. How does it feel, Kelly? Good. Excellent, because I was gonna say it feels great. <laughs> yeah, it, looks, it feels like it looks so and feels so great. Just opening up that whole area, our chest, yeah. our back. And if, uh, if Kelly um, were a little more flexible or had less uh, issues with the low back after the skiing, what we could do in this next one is I would bring her down and I could actually bring the feet up, sit on her feet, oh, wow. and then pull her arms up. And so we would get a much larger stretch to the whole right. front of the body. I won't do that today because right. it'd be a little too strong. Um, but it gives you the idea that you can be of different types of um, right. flexibility uh, and do all sorts of variations within the poses. Paul, fantastic. Time massage. I love it. Kelly, thank you for being a great, a great person thank to you. try it out on. Uh, we'll look forward to the next one, guys. Thanks a lot for Thanks this. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, let's take a quick pause here on uh, Dinner Television. Fantastic time massage. We've got to try that. We'll be back in a few more times with more Dinner Television. Stay with us, friends.